Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. Today we're doing an unboxing and we're gonna do a little spell together. We are opening up Moon Spell Box. So I've opened this a few times on the channel already. Uh, if you don't know, this is not, an, a, not a subscription, but it's something you can purchase each month if you desire. And each month they come out with a new spell kit and you get everything you need to complete a spell in this box. And I've noticed that they're really good at curating the box, creating a spell that really fits with the month, with the time of year, with the holidays. <laughs> uh, so yeah, this is from moonspellbox.com. I'll link them down below. This is their love spell box and it is $14.99. So they do have free shipping. And I think that's everything. So we're gonna do a little unboxing. I'll show you what comes into it in this box. And then I'm gonna flip the camera around and we're going to do the spell right over here together. Uh, and I think that's, I think that's all I need to tell you about the info. I'm just trying to um, make sure, but yeah, self-explanatory moon spell box. Take a look. So right here, it'll tell us how to do the spell step by step and what comes in it. So we love spell, isn't this paper nice? <laughs> says so this spell is to invoke deeper or new love between two souls. This can be you and your partner, you and your pet, or any two souls. I really like that they said that. I believe that doing love spells should be to like deepen love or just to draw in like your ideal partner or something like that. Not to like coerce someone or like, you know, make someone <laughs> love you. Like I believe in free will. So I really like that they put that like, you and your pet. I never thought to do a love spell for my pet. You can, might be able to hear Emmy eating. She was just sleeping, but like whenever I filmed, she's like, I'm gonna go in the kitty litter or eat some food, but it's okay. She's so cute. She can do whatever she wants. I feel like our love is pretty freaking deep already. I was thinking that. I'm like, I tell my kid I love her like 100 million times a day. <laughs> Can you, I'm like, what if I have a human baby? Am I going to be that obsessive? <laughs> um, but anyway, so the intention to create a natural, beneficial, and lasting love. Okay, I like that. Natural, beneficial, and lasting love. The ingredients are hibiscus flower and basil, rose quartz crystal, a wooden carving stick, and a pink love candle. And then I'll go step by step with the ritual. And there's a love incantation we'll use for the ritual as well. So yeah, they have everything you need here, but I also grabbed like two other things. If you just happen to have them, you can add that to your ritual. But again, you don't need to add anything. Everything comes in the box to complete the spell. I chose to film this on Friday because Friday is ruled by Venus and Venus rules love and relationships among other things. So I thought it'd be a great day to do it. Um, I feel like the, the energy is stronger this day, but you can do it anytime you like. I just wanted to mention that. And let's take a look at the ingredients before we get started. Oh, it all came in this little bag. Cute. Everything we need is right here. So I'm just going to show you this quick and then we're going to move over. Oh my God, it's the heart shape crystal. <laughs> and I love these little spell jars. I keep these after, but all right, let me move the camera and let's do this spell. <laughs> all right, so let's cleanse the space now this is the thing that i do um outside of this i have some incense in here um you can do that if you have any want to smoke cleanse beforehand you can do that you don't really have to cleanse i just choose to you can also use a bell and you can kind of cleanse the energy of your space that way over that but since we're doing a love spell i thought it would be really fun to use some new incense i just received called love spell <laughs> by soul sticks Smells really good. I received that in Nine of Earth. But let's let's light this and cleanse the space. Get rid of any unwanted energies. And make way for some love. <laughs> Just to do all of the items at once. I like that they're all in here. <laughs> Perfect. I'm just gonna put this over here. Oops, just dropped it. <laughs> oh, it smells so good. Okay, now let's get all of our ingredients out. So, this is the herbs. 
We have the candle, cute little heart quartz, and this little toothpick to carve in this little bag. So let's take a look at the rituals here. Oh, I should put this heart over here too. I love, I love my heart crystals. <laughs> I just got this one, but I've had this blue kale site. And look at these little hearts, just like this one. So cute. All right, so ritual. First step is to carve into the pink love candle the two names for whom the ritual is being performed. Hmm. So I am going to write my name, obviously. Well, I guess it's not obvious because you can do it for other people. It implies So I'll put my name and then I'm going to write like ideal partner. First of all, that'd be kind of embarrassing if I like put someone's name on here and they're watching. Like, I don't think that's going to happen, but okay. So Kitty Taff. This would be hard if you had a super long name. <laughs> well, maybe I should do my full name, but it's okay. So it's all about the intention, right? <laughs> um, Kitty Tab, you can't really see right now, I'll kind of cleanse that. Um, I'm going to add some oil too, I'll show you that. And then on the bottom I'm going to write ideal partner. And then I'll take some time to envision and visualize and, and really think about all the qualities that my ideal partner has. Um, and the more clear what you are with that, I really feel like the more powerful it is, the more likely it is to occur to draw in this partner. Um, and the next step is to light it, but I'm gonna put a little bit of oil on this. You wanna make sure when you use oils not to put on the wick. I have some rose oil here. I thought this would be good. But again, this isn't necessary. I just have these things, so I'm going to add it, and I wanna give you guys ideas for when you're doing this at home if you get this box or any in the future. So I just put a little bit on my finger and I'm just going to put it in clockwise because I'm drawing in love to me. If you're doing something um, for someone else, you can do it counterclockwise. Uh, so from home you will need a match or a lighter. That's one thing, but other than that, you're good. I feel like most people have that, so Light the pink candle and place on a fire safe platform. Do not leave it unattended. I'm glad they have those safety hazards. I'm gonna put this a little bit up so we can. Should I put it on another surface? It's okay, I'm not here. I don't know, is my letter out? Oh, I mean, I can get it. It's like barely. Oh, please. There we go. All right. Next, step three, hold the rose quartz crystal in the palm of your right hand and close your hand. And then sprinkle the hibiscus flower and basil over the top of the candle flame while holding the crystal. Oops, it's broke a little bit of the cork off. While holding your crystal in the right, close right hand. Oh no, I keep breaking it. Shit. It's hard to do this with one hand. I should have done it. <laughs> Sorry guys. I'm like just breaking this all off. That's a bummer. <laughs> uh, maybe I should just use two hands. Really can put this in there. Okay, got it. See, we're doing this in real time, people. Stuff happens. It's okay. <laughs> Again, it's the intention that matters the most. <laughs> so, holding the rose quartz in my hand, sprinkle the hibiscus flower and basil on top of the candle flame while holding the crystal in your closed hand. Chant the love incantation while still holding the crystal. Then you blow out the candle and allow it to cool for 30 minutes. And when the candle is cool, bury it outside three to four inches deep. This can be anywhere. The closer it is buried to your home, the stronger the spell. Keep the rose quartz in your pocket, on your bedside table, or anywhere close. 
Okay, is this gonna put out the thing? I've never done this, so. Done this, and I'm gonna pour it over and then I'll do the incantation. Oh, take a while, shit. How did this? So we're just going to relight it, I guess. Let, the, let magic work here between and amongst us. Combine our hearts, infuse our souls, create dear memories, solidify our love. Let magic work here between and amongst us. Combine our hearts, infuse our souls, create dear memories, solidify our love. Let magic work here between and amongst us. Combine our hearts, infuse our souls, create dear memories, solidify our love. So the next step was to blow it out. So I'm just going to leave it like this. If anyone has any <laughs> tips for me, how do you um, put herbs over the candle flame without putting it out? But I'm not worried about that. Again, intention is everything um, with your workings. So now I'm gonna let it cool. And I don't live in a house. I live in an apartment um, higher up, but I do have some soil in this big thing. I tried to grow sunflowers in a while back and there's this all this soil in, in this huge container. And I'm gonna bury it in there once it's done. And I will keep this. I think I might put this on my bedside table, like it says. I do actually have pockets right now, so I'll put it in my pocket for now. And then when I bury it and everything, and like later today, I will put it into or onto my bedside table. So this is cute, and this will be like a little reminder, like to your subconscious mind that you cast this spell. So that was everything, you guys. I know I did. <laughs> there might have been a, a few like little flaws, but it's okay. You could still even use this cork if you wanted to. Um, we got some herbs around, but that's okay. Magic is messy sometimes. But it's, again, intention is everything. And I something about this is really cute. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, I'm going to bury it. I'm going to bury the herbs too. Because, yeah. wait, was there salt? No, there wasn't any salt. Because you don't want to put salt outside into the ground because it can harm um, plant life and animal life as well. Just FYI. But that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video in real time doing a little spell with me. I will link Moon, excuse me, I will link Moon Cell Box down below if you want to purchase this box. Again, it's not a subscription, it's a one-time box, and it's $14.99. Every month they come out with a new spell. Uh, I know during Capricorn season we had the a money spell, which was really awesome. I'm curious what they'll have for March, <laughs> but I thought this was really sweet and perfect timing. So let me know your thoughts and let me know how you're doing. Happy Friday. Hope you're well. I love you so much. Please subscribe if you haven't already, like this video and leave a comment and I will see you in the next one. Bye.